you may have heard about the ISO 14000 family. What does it mean and what ISO standards are covered within this family? Even more surprisingly, there are nine ISO standards that don't exist. Curious? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode looks at nine ISO environmental standards that don't exist. By that I mean they either have been withdrawn or just plain don't exist. The reason for this episode is that there are several YouTube videos, podcasts and blogs which promote that certain ISO environmental standards exist when they have never existed or have been withdrawn. So to provide focus, I'm going to be looking at the ISO environmental standards that have been developed by the ISO TC207 Subcommittee 1 which is responsible for the development of ISO standards in the area of environmental management systems. This constitutes the ISO 14000 family. Additionally, I am including the ISO standards developed by ISO TC207 Subcommittee 2, which is responsible for environmental auditing and related environmental investigations. I'm going to look at ISO standards from ISO 14000 to ISO 14019, as these are the main ISO environmental standards developed by these two subcommittees. So let's kick off with ISO 14000. That must exist, right? After all, it is called the ISO 14000 family by many environmentalists as well as ISO itself. How could you not have an ISO 14000? Well, no. ISO 14000 does not exist and has never existed. Strange, but true. Even more strange when you consider that there is an ISO 9000 to the ISO 9001 for quality management systems, and ISO IEC 27000 to ISO IEC 27001 for information security management systems. But no, there is not an ISO 14000. Next up are ISO 14003, 14013, 14014, 14018 and 14019. These ISO numbers have not yet been allocated to an international standard and so no ISO environmental standards exist with these numbers. Finally, ISO 14010, 14011 and 14012. These ISO environmental standards used to exist and covered general principles for environmental auditing in ISO 14010-1996, audit procedures for the auditing of environmental management systems in the former ISO 14011-1996, and qualification criteria for environmental auditors in ISO 14012-1996. All of these ISO standards existed between 1996 and 2002 and were withdrawn when ISO 19011 was published covering the guidelines for quality and environmental management systems auditing. Subsequent ISO 19011 revisions in 2011 and now the current edition, published in 2018, covers the guidelines for auditing management systems and is no longer restricted 
to environmental auditing specifically. So ISO 14010, 14011 and 14012 used to exist but now are no longer the current ISO standards for auditing. In summary, I thought it would be a good idea to recap on the current ISO environmental standards from ISO 14000 to 14019. So here goes. ISO 14000 is not used. ISO 14001 is the requirement standard for environmental management systems which we're all familiar with. ISO 14002, this is a new ISO standard covering guidelines on environmental aspects and conditions within a specific environmental topic area. Part 1 covers general guidelines and Part 2 is under development which will cover water. ISO 14003 is not used. ISO 14004 provides the general guidelines on the implementation of an environmental management system based on ISO 14001. ISO 14005 covers the guidelines for a flexible approach to the phased implementation of ISO 14001. ISO 14006 provides the guidelines for incorporating eco-design. ISO 14007 looks at the guidelines for determining environmental costs and benefits. ISO 14008 provides a framework for the monetary valuation of environmental impacts and related environmental aspects. ISO 14009 covers the guidelines for incorporating material circulation in design and development. ISO 14010, 14011 and 14012 have all been withdrawn as they have been replaced by ISO 19011. ISO 14013 and ISO 14014 have not currently been used. ISO 14015 is in its current version, the 2001 version, covers the environmental assessment of sites and organisations, but it is currently being revised to cover environmental due diligence assessment. ISO 14016 provides the guidelines on the assurance of environmental reports and 14017 is the new standard which is under development with the requirements for verification and validation of water information. And finally ISO 14018 and 14019 are unused numbers. Further information on this episode, including the links to all of the referenced ISO environmental standards, is given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. If this episode has helped to advance your understanding of what is and is not a current ISO environmental standard in the range from ISO 14000 to 14019, please leave a comment in the box below if it has helped to increase your knowledge and help your understanding of these standards. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right, and to subscribe to this channel, you can click on the link to the left. Thank you.